Hi there and welcome back to Karakoyun Liu. No, it's Persia of course. <laughs> but we're still so backwards, it's crazy. I mean look at that, the printing press is not like the printing press and the global trade is absolutely everywhere, even in deepest Mongolia. But not where we are. But we want to change that. We'll wait it out a bit and then we want to embrace actually both the printing press and the global trade. We'll have to wait a bit for that. I feel very motivated as the people call us the innovator. And we have a carnum of the people now. She's still indulgent though. Always seeking relief from general apathy, our ruler indulges in great amounts of stimulants as alcohol. We don't have luck with our um, with our wives. At least, at least we love her. It has become clear to us that Kanum Rabia is a woman with a heart of gold. She always does her best to please her husband, Shahan Shah Solomon I, and treats her friends with unparalleled kindness. During a recent trip to the Mosul province, Kanum Rabia saw the suffering of its poorest peasants with her own eyes. Ever since, she's been drafting a plan to help her most destitute subjects. In order to make these ideas into a reality, however, Rabia needs some funds from the nation's treasury. Just after our plans. Well, but we love her. The marriage is fresh and uh, people are ours to look after. She has our support. <sighs> well, yeah, our plan now is to embrace both of the institutions. And of course, we'll do that at the latest moment. Even though for some reason this is increasing the cost so we'll increase we'll embrace that now and we'll embrace global trade later mamluks no longer consider us an arrival we have a promising trader too following the coptic faith our free trade policies are forcing our merchants to become more innovative. One in particular looks like he could become a great man. And Transoxiana is no longer a rival. Mamluks are no longer a rival. Oh, and Aiden is trying to blockade our ports. We need more rivals. Maybe Aiden? Aiden would be a natural choice, right? And then Aragon. Mazandran! Come on, Lithuania? What rivals do the Ottomans have? Rivals, rivals, rivals. Great Britain and Russia. Oh. Russia? Great Britain? No. Which rivals has Sherman? Akkoyundu and the Great Horde and Mazandran. Well then, and Adabil has no rivals. Okay, we'll have to look after the rivals of our own. We'll choose the weakest we can get. That would be Lithuania. For some reasons. We'll now wait it out until we can also embrace global trade and then we'll go and not only become the reformer but the great innovator. Oh look at that, we have maximum monarch power reached and the Burgos rise in Ganja, rising against the changes in our country which have limited their powers. Clearly they are not happy with having the privileges of the nobility strength. In Ganja. Where are they? Here. They have too few men to siege the province? That is not true. Where's our super maneuverer? Here. We need you. Be quick.
And here we have another Shashahi. Oh, oh, oh. We should spend some of our power. Hmm. And maybe we can invest in one military technology. The Tunians. Trunians. A new and mobile, mobile artillery had one problem. It could not be easily elevated up and down to adjust its firing range. Trunians were cylindrical protrusions that acted as mounts for the gun on its carriage, which allowed it to be tilted and thus aimed better. And we can choose new cannons. Large cast or small cast iron cannon. They have defensive shock. We're gonna we were gonna go offensive with large cast iron cannons. Come on, be quick. Ah no. The particular wrists. Attack them. Should be able to beat them handily. With our new large cast iron cannons. Whoa. Ooh. That wasn't that good. The burrows rise. Come on. We have our new farm estate here, I think. In Tabriz? No. Ganja is now under our occupation again, thankfully. The autonomy is terrible, but what can we do? We stay here? Well, um, probably not such a good idea, even though the supply limit is okay. And it's dry lands. It's okay. We can stay here. Oh, look at that. Also, our diplomatic power is at the maximum. Well, then we'll have to go for the Galleon. Let's see. The Galleon was created by lowering the forecastle and elongating the hull. These changes in design improved the speed and stability of the ship, which was of vital importance for Galleons to serve as better gun platforms. And early frigates too. I mean, we could have developed something as well, but I think it is high time for these things. So. Fungi eyed war with Aiden, Ethiopia, and Enaria. Well then, Fungi. Fungi. Fuji. You can do this. Waiting for the embracement. Oh. Global trade. There's the Adenic fleet. And we, we must look at this because it's very relevant to us. Oh, the Mamluks are at war with Aden too? And where are our men suffering casualties? Ah, we have Iskander Munshi now. After a lifetime in the royal, royal bureaucracy, Iskander Bag Munshi has completed a great chronicle of the history of our state. Starting with the founding of our dynasty, Munshi goes on to retell the events of every Shah since. The more recent parts of the period covered by the chronicle draws from Munshi's own rich experiments from his time in the service of the throne. Okay, Iskander. Um... We didn't know you, really, but it's okay, probably. And now, uh, let's actually change the game options to pause on events, so we don't have the burgers rising so quickly when we speed it up a bit because of our plan to modernize the country. We'll need a lot of money for that. We can embrace global trade now, but 
We should rather spend a little bit of admin power now. Krasenia. Okay, Cook. Avas is also good. Quam as well. Crit? Mm, I don't know, no. Fifty five is a bit much. Rather go for the these things. Can I brace them again? We'd want a little bit of that money again, though. Otherwise, it would be too risky. Oh, look at that. Corazan. Yeah, he's discovered. We should send someone else in again. Unhappiness among the peasantry. We'll try to improve their situation, if we, like we've always done. If the Khanum for the people and the Ottomans are taking on Russia and Brabant. It's really hard to take this on. Look at that. We're nearing that again and we may have to do this. Even him, he must become. He must become someone to. To take risks sometime because. Otherwise, he'll never go there. After embracing this institution, you will lose 196 to do a lowered maximum storage of monarch power. Oh, that's not good. Mm. We'll go and improve some manpower then. In was it the classic grain? Quasania Yeah, I should be happy there. And now we can embrace the global trade. Change our technology costs. And we have one more merchant available. And now we also have... Uh, finally the opportunity to... Go for some technology improvements. The modern theocracy. The development of the social structure is not exclusive to the aristocracy. The clergy too have to improve their internal governance. This will assist in the development of modern thought in our country. And what else? Textile manufacturing. Textiles were manufactured since time immemorial. The invention of stocking frame in 1589 was the first step towards the Industrial Revolution and the beginning of mechanization. This invention lead to increase in textile production. Really good. Early modern in administration even. Let's see what that gives us. In time, it became apparent that a more centralized bureaucracy with administrative bodies run by educated officials employed directly by the state was a necessity for the ambitious projects of the early modern rulers. Whoa. That was a lot, but we can do more. <laughs> Improved drainage. The more land we can cultivate, the bigger the population we can feed in that area. 
gradual improvements in drainage have led to wetlands being brought into use and production efficiency goes up. And we can also go for scientific experimentation even, and that will be the last one, so we can still improve our uh, stability quickly. While it's true that we stand on the shoulders of our ancestors, it is high time that we start to learn about the world from our own well-documented observations. By observing the world around us and by experimenting to prove or disprove our ideas about it, we can reach further than those before us. We can build plantations now. And uh, let's see about the military. What, we, what can we discover there? Tenai. It was difficult to fire around curved walls, and as once attackers got close enough to the fortification, the ability of other parts to the def of the defenses to provide flanking fire was nullified. The development of star-shaped bastions allowed every part of the wall to be supported from other parts. Oh, uh, great. We have new cavalry and can build a bastion. That would be good for if we someday maybe can take Hormoz. The development of maritime law. Yeah, that's a little bit costly, right? With more and more countries sending their subjects or citizens abroad on various trading ventures and with so many living so close to each other for so long times, it has become absolutely essential to have at least a basic concept of common laws of the seas. With publications such as Mare Liberum or the later De, Domin De Dominio Maris Dissertatio, the foundations to an international law of the seas has been laid. Trade range goes up and trade efficiency also. And now, even more military progress. Mauritian infantry. The size and depth of the Spanish square gave it staying power, made it slow and cumbersome to maneuver on the battlefield. It also led to a large percentage of troops being inactive during battles. Maurice of Nassau, the stadtholder of the Netherlands, reduced the total number of men in the formations to make it more mobile and reduce its depth so it maintained the same firepower and shock values. And we have more military tactics and land morale. And Afsharid reformed infantry. The innovator. That's really what we are. Here. Muslim musketeer cavalry, Afsharid reformed infantry. And new cannons? No. That's enough. And we can have new states and new ideas. Wow, let's decide that in the next episode. There's a lot of changes coming to Persia, it seems, with our great innovator. And look at that. Look at that. What does that mean? It means our morale has more than doubled by the technologies alone. <laughs> Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. May the wool of the black sheep protect you.